Hi Taurus, welcome in and happy birthday. We are in Taurus season and I know a lot of good stuff is coming towards you guys, especially in the world of love. Uh, I believe a lot of things are heating up. All right, let's see what's going on here. What's the situation here for my Taurus, please? Two of Wands. Oh my God, two, what is it with you and the twos guys and the two of swords and the crossroads? Okay, it's like you have a decision to make about a person, do or die, do or don't, whatever the case is. All right, and I think this is the one thing that's holding you back from moving forward, either with them or without them. So for a lot of you, I see here an emperor, which is an Aries. Others of you, this is just somebody that has a lot of authority, a lot of power is, a big deal uh, it can be somebody with authority in your life as well all right so let's see what's going on uh what's coming towards you because when we clarify this we'll get a little bit more details all right i do see that you have healed though guys i think you are ready to move on i think you are ready for all that new energy and you seem to be quite welcoming also I uh, just think that you're just a bit done with everything from your past. All right, let's see what's going on here too. The Magician, yeah, you are manifesting things in your world. The Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. In your world of healing, you're moving forward slowly and, but cautiously. So now you have changed your tempo, Taurus. You have swung it around. You are saying to yourself, I'm going to sing a different tune. I'm going to sing a tune that I never sang before because of this retrograde is now going direct because we are reading for the last week of April also. And we had a major eclipse and we have another moon shift this weekend as I'm releasing this video. So make no mistake, it's also another doozy. For, for you, the eclipse was showing you the door. Now you're either getting pushed through it or you already went through it yourself. The point of this is that you're changing the way you perceive things, the way you handle relationships, uh, the way that you um, encounter life's problems, et cetera, et cetera. But I see you healing. I think you're looking at it from a different scope. You're saying to yourselves, okay, it is what it is. I've managed it. I've dealt with it. I'm moving on. You're going there cautiously, but now you're starting to rebuild. If not rebuild, just manifest something new for you in your life. All right. Uh, what is it that Taurus doesn't see coming their way? Please. You know, healing is a big thing. It doesn't just come only from the relationships we have with our lovers and our spouses. It's also familial. It's also, you know, our colleagues. It's also our friends. And we learn a lot from, you know, sources we never imagined we would. And people that we thought would never hurt us that do, we carry that pain. And that pain stays dormant within us. And then something comes along or someone else new comes along and triggers that. And if it was never dealt with, it'll surface at some point in your life. I think you are managing those dormant pains um, where you haven't seen them before. You, you now see them for what they are and you are managing them. You are healing. You're acknowledging. You're like, yeah, that fucking hurt me. But I think I'm handling it like a champ and I'm getting it out of me. And now you're moving on. But something else is possibly keeping you stuck. There is something that you're trying to try out, but there's unrequited love there. And I don't know if a lot of you guys are questioning yourself, like, why isn't my heart opening up to this? Or why isn't my heart? And it doesn't have to be a person. I mean, in general, anything. And you're like, why don't I feel the same way about a certain situation? You're feeling kind of stuck. Or you don't even see this coming because it's in your near future. This is part of that whole retrograde situation. Can I have one more for what uh, Taurus doesn't see coming their way, please? A little more clarity as to why they're stuck and they're hanging in there for something. Yeah, here you are, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy card. You, I don't know if some of you are just confused as to a path to pick or a choice to make. So you're trying to assess your uh, its worth and value if it's worthy of you. All right, so it's kind of like keeping you stuck. This is also why you have your two twos over here 
trying to debate the right choice. So you're tiptoeing forward with an option that you currently have. Might not be your favorite, might not be your best one, might not be the way you like it, but you're still trying it. There, there's the third two. You're weighing your pros and cons. What's the advice here for Taurus, please? Remain positive. Remain hopeful. Everything has a reason as to why it's happening to you and change is coming for you. Oh shit, yeah. There's a partnership waiting to happen. You need to be positive and hopeful for it or about it. Others of you, there's somebody lingering around you that, you know, yes, you should be getting into a partnership with them, business, lover, or otherwise. But you're holding on to something. That something's got to go. <laughs> That energy. All right, what is the outcome, please? When we're held captive of our past pain or somebody, um, we can't open up to anyone else. Everyone else looks boring, dull, dry, um, don't want to open up. It's an ordeal, it's exhausting, it's a burden. And so there's no bonding. I mean, you could simply say, oh, you know, we're not compatible, but you really don't know if you're compatible or not unless you actually gave it a go. Um, I'm saying all this for a reason. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups. There's profound pain here. This is backstab. This is betrayal in regards to love. Uh, this is you trying to open your heart chakra either, either after this painful betrayal and ending or there you are, vulnerable as fuck, getting hurt. Um, we'll see when we clarify it does have something to do with a fire sign for a lot of you uh aries leo sagittarius it doesn't have to be a fire sign but it very much denotes this person's very attractive to you and them and likewise you also have a lot of chemistry uh physically there's a lot of passion there too um it's interesting can i have one more over here please for the outcome with this ten of swords and the queen of Yeah, three of wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for that boat to dock for you. Um, you're hoping that, you know, whoever or whatever's coming towards you, maybe it'll be easier. Maybe it'll be simpler. But I don't think it's that's the case for you, Taurus. I think things are shifting um, for you internally. And then your whole view, it's like remapping the way your brain thinks or seeing a person interesting let's let's continue what are these two twos here please for the situation of taurus please there's a situation where you might be flip-flopping like going off and being on your own and being single right or returning to the scene of a crime <laughs> just kidding or returning to a person or an option it doesn't have to be some x or anything like that but an option of yours uh it's what's holding you back from putting yourself out there with a clean slate and just being single by yourself that's your leap of faith but i think you're being held back and this is the decision you're trying to make is if you should give somebody an opportunity that's where you're at yeah you're in your head trying to decide do i cut them out or do i put the sword down so we can chat and see if there's actually something there you're going cautiously. You're like dragging your feet out the door. <laughs> All right, let's see what the magician is. Clarify the magician. The magician is clarifying the magician. I love this. And the Knight of Cups. You're trying to manifest a situation where this person is asking you out or you're asking them out or you find yourselves in a scenario where you can talk on a personal level. But somebody's got to make the attempt. So either it's coming to you or you are doing it to them. All right. But there seems to be ugh, not enough of juice, not enough of chemistry, at least for you, at least for you. All right. Let's see. What is this uh, queen of pentacles, seven of cups and the hangman in reverse? You're resisting something. That's why you're hanging back. You're resisting something because I think you want to make the right choice, but, you know, you feel like if you go in, you go all in. And you don't want to go there if you think it's going to be the wrong choice. You're like, no. Yeah. 
Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success, a lack of feeling good, a lack of feeling like vindicated, validated with a certain situation. Ugh, there's something there, there's potential in your mind, and there's potential there with the individual, but what, what's missing? Something's missing. All right, what is this um, star card in the Two of Cups, please? So this is divine messaging for you with the Two of Cups and the star card. It's talking about having a passionate new beginning here with somebody and just putting the work and effort into the situation. Others of you, it's a business partner. Starting a passion project and you know, putting your skills to work that you have, that you seem to be very talented in doing. You're very good at it. Yeah, wish fulfillment. But this can also talk about a physical new beginning here with somebody and putting some effort into the partnership. All right, let's see what the outcome is saying here. Four of Pentacles. Remember before I showed you the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to some old energy. And that's the kind of energy we really want to let go of. Hold on. Oop. There we go. My God. I'm like miss bumping into everything all right well, can i have one more please i think you do have an option here and you haven't let them go i don't know if you've been breadcrumbing them or they've been breadcrumbing you um as an option and they're just there and then you're sitting there saying to yourself they're yeah they're an option but it's not like i could just clean the slate and just go out there and even get rid of that one option or give this option a go right like texting them but this is small baby energy why am i looking at the ten of swords though justice okay i see somebody did definitely did you dirty uh could have been divorce or some kind of settlement there was a lot of fighting bickering arguing back and forth but there is some um good karma coming for you taurus all right there is something exciting and fun and new coming your way with this page of wands. Interesting. You might have had like some kind of issue with somebody that was far younger than you. If there was like a big age gap for some of you guys, there's that right there too. I'm curious to see what the romance angels have to say here. Romance angels, what, what's your take on the situation here for Taurus? I feel like it's very specific to us and i think next week's reading is going to be very very fascinating and interesting all right so in the extended i will clarify this obviously unrequited love I, I mentioned it a few times during our reading so i did see it this could be you this could be them there's an option but it's like it's not like the option so you're debating whether you should try it or leave it um unrequited love can quickly turn okay that's how sometimes we have runner chaser dynamic other times like we really get to know the other person we bond and then there we go we'll see in the extended when we clarify all right but before we move on let's see what the wisdom house of night has to say for my beautiful taurus here what is the wonderful messages you have here wisdom house of night for my taurus please Ooh, I think you're okay there. Vision. All right. Vision means that you are being gifted with the ability to see something in your near future that's coming towards you through your genes, through signs, through whatever it is. Usually it, it will tell me to pull another card so we could see kind of in what direction or what realm they're talking about. Let's just read this card and uh, we'll see if I'll pull one now for you. When you choose the symbol, it means that no matter what you, you lose in your life, something better is actually going to replace it. One day in the house of night, there's going to be a young, beautiful woman who will lose her mark, but she's going to gain great vision into the future. Even if a loss feels devastating at the moment, you will have much to gain. If your question is about the future, choose another card. The magical vision that you receive here gives you the temporary power to see the future as a vast place full of possibilities and potential. 
your next card will provide insight into the conditions ahead of you. To know the future is to be prepared. All right, so let's go ahead and pull that one more card. What is the vision or the premise for Taurus here, please? Deceit, what? I mean, guys, I do want to mention this Ten of Swords, and I do want you to be careful. So, when you choose the symbol of deceit, be very careful about your motives in making your choices. In the House of Night, there will be one who betrays herself and all others who looked up to her. I am warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger. You are forewarned. So this is also why we had justice, right, guys? For the person who's getting fucked over, there's justice karma coming in. So be careful with deceit coming up like that. So that's what you need to look into. It's the same thing with the cards as we're reading for the future. It's showing you that somebody is possibly deceiving you. It's not what you think it is. Um, others of you, if this is you, you're a discerning adult. You know what it is. You don't want to do that uh, because of karma. <laughs> Plain and simple. All right, those of you that are members, I'll see you over at the Extended. Uh, everyone else, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.